One climate, two theories. UN climate theory and NASA biospheric theory. Can either one predict Earth's climate and biosphere? The focus of UN climate theory is on CO2. It imagines that CO2 acts as the thermostat controlling Earth temperatures. NASA biospheric theory imagines that the sun and the seas drive climate. And CO2 is a minor factor that can be positive or negative depending on a regional biosphere. In 2018, Climate Intel volunteered to find scientific evidence to support UN carbon footprint and net zero policies. Included was test system validation that correctly identified the warming effects of gases with stronger and weaker greenhouse effects. Three panels of tests included temperatures and CO2, marine and land ecosystem health, and national security, which included climate stability, food and forage growth for people and wildlife, the improvement in health of people and wildlife, and because our lives literally depend on it, the stability of the electrical grid, then repeated for the official records of every climate center in the world, and all repeated again using all standard cause-effect methods. Of those more than 100,000 tests, you and climate theory only passed a handful and only in desert biospheres, while NASA biospheric theory passed every test with one in particular that will blow your mind. This is the prediction that NASA biospheric theory made. CO2 warms when Earth is too cold and cools when Earth is too warm. Oh, come on. That's what I thought too, Gramps. But our job as scientists isn't to judge. We only test and report. Both theories agree that during a period like the Little Ice Age, when a brown Earth lacks a cooling mechanism, a warming sun plus rising CO2 levels both help to warm up Earth. But at some point, the shade from new trees fed by CO2 creates shade that cools until finally the strength of that cooling helps to slow down solar warming. While we all know this to be true from time spent under a cool tree on a hot day, is the transition of CO2 from warming to neutral to cooling in the official climate records of NOAA? Yes, seven times over. The transition from warming to neutral to cooling is in the official climate records of every climate center in the world. The net effect of CO2 on global temperatures went from positive to zero to negative in the early years of 1970, just as NASA biospheric theory predicted. And ever since, the cooling from CO2 has grown stronger and stronger. NASA, impressive as always. To understand why CO2 is now mitigating cooling the climate, Google NASA Green Earth for articles on the initial discovery of CO2's green effect. Years later, the power of the green effect was tested, better understood, and stockpiled waiting for an executive order to restore gold standard science. For more, look at youtube.com slash at climate intel slash shorts.